from our Brussels studio. Why aren't you voting? Because I can't vote for the Brexit party. They're not standing in my constituency. I'm a Brexit party MEP. I'm hardly going to go and cast my vote for a rival party. I don't back Boris Johnson's deal. So the choice is taken away from me in my own constituency. So I'm going to be one of millions, I assume, who will also find that when it comes to their first choice party, they're not going to be on the ballot paper. Presumably, uh, Nigel Farage b believes that Boris Johnson's deal is Brexit. He said previously it wasn't Brexit and that's why I wanted to stand candidates in all the constituencies. Now that he's not, he presumably is happy with the deal um, to, and, and letting Tory candidates um, stand unchallenged by no. Brexit candidates. So why don't you follow him on that? No, he doesn't think that Boris Johnson's deal as it currently stands is Brexit. He was reassured in what Boris Johnson is saying about moving forward from this situation, ensuring that the transition period is kept to an absolute minimum and then fighting for a pure and simple free trade agreement. And that is what Nigel wants, a clean break Brexit. He has been reassured in the last couple of days that Boris Johnson is going in that direction. He has far more conversations behind the scenes than I do, of course. But what he has done tactically and necessarily because of this awful duopoly that the first past the post system creates, what he has done is staved off the greatest electoral threats to Brexit, which would be getting 50 or 60 odd Liberal Democrats into Parliament with a very different narrative of wanting to revoke Article 50 altogether. So he's essentially had to sever a limb in some respects to hold the whole body together. Is it a mistake from Nigel Farage? Uh, I don't think it's a mistake. I think it was a necessity, but it is, it's sad.